Rub it out! I don't know why I did that. Really, <laughs> I feel like I've heard that before. It's a really good uh, TV series. It's like, you know the Archie comics? Archie! It's nope. basically like a real, a real life interpretation with like dark twists and stuff because they've got a guy who's really good at it. I mean, he did, um, he directed Glee. But, uh, he likes to do musical episodes and uh, uh, musical stuff in did, Riverdale, but I do quite enjoy it. Did uh, I don't know if you're nervous. Maybe you do because you're a fantastical musical nerd. But no, did they invent the song "Don't Stop Believing"? Who did? Don't stop. Uh, no, they. Uh, that wasn't Glee. Did they not make that song? No, I think it was a old school song, and then they just like reprised it. Oh. I don't know, cause, like, I don't listen to that song. Let me tell you something like about Glee Lewis. I just can't stand it. You know, since I've been watching The Crown, a Netflix show, which is <laughs> based on Smith. the royal family, yeah, with Matt Smith and Claire Foy, since I started watching it, I came downstairs, and my dad was like, just said to me, because I was going out, and he was like, uh, where are you going? And I said, Mothers. <laughs> <laughs> and I because mean, I, I started. I've been saying Mother for at least three years. Mother? And I started just sounding like um, Prince Philip, like, oh yeah, absolutely darling, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, he didn't, obviously that's how he sounds like now, but obviously when Matt Smith... It's like when, uh, like, Hugh guy from Outnumbered uh, does oh, his yeah, yeah, things yeah. on uh, Mock of the Week. <coughs> oh, it's amazing. Oh, yeah, like, oh, oh, I'm never going to be king. <laughs> I used to, I, I was re-watching those after I watched The Crown. It's a newsreel where this guy... Very famous. Well, he's kind of famous in the UK. Brian. Yeah, he like he like dubs over. Um, he does like voices. science shows as well, I think. Ah yeah. oh, yes, Prince Philip. Yes, I absolutely adore it. That's the Queen. Mm. But um, uh, it's just I love the fact it was like yes. Uh, oh wait, what was it? Yes, um, he was pulling out like a twenty-five pound, and it's like oh, I fucked her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that in Prince Philip's voice and it made me a lot lose my mind. Honestly, though, it's right, right now, what are the, what are good impressions you can do that you know you can do for a fact? I can't do it. There's got to be one that you can do. I, I can't do it when I'm on the spot. Okay. Uh, I, I know I can do a decent Grimlock. All right, try Grimlock, then. I can't do it when I'm on the spot. Give a line, give a line. Uh, <clears throat> what, what she says a lot? Me <clears throat> Grimlock King. Yeah. Me Grimlock, not Bosho. Me King. I can't do it. No. Greg Berger, you are out of a job. I do think I could do a decent Grimlock. Not better than Greg, but I do think I could do a decent <laughs> You know how you just say you can't do it, but like, you've always wanted, you've actually suggested that you I wanted, wanted to, to be, do a voice. Yeah, actually. imagine you being there in the studio, like, all right, three, two, one, and you go, <laughs> shit, I can't can do Can you get it. out the room, please? <laughs> I can't. He's got, excuse me, what? He goes, well, thing is, I can't do it on spot. <laughs> can you just... Get out of the room. And they're like, why have I got a very funny voice? I know, you, I know, you just you just shift your voice. It's your nervous voice. I don't have a nervous voice. Oh, someone put in the comments. I don't know why they were, but they were like, hey Cameron, did you know about Steve Long voices, Starscream and Dark and Moon? And I'm like, yeah, I do. I'm surprised that they say that. I can do it. No, that's not. <laughs> I'm not even going to... People Get know I can't. Was your doom. No, I can't do it. I'm Starscream. I'm a fucking turtle. Anyway, um... I do like Mirage's design, but, you know, mm. the issue is he's red. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind the red because it's a cinematic... I know it's a Ferrari. Like, I know it's, like... You can't change the Ferrari concept. Like, no. you, you, if you're... I mean, you do have black and yellow ones as well. I know, but, like... If, if they wanted to change the paint, we should have just changed the paint. How 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 hard was it a bit to not even gotten a Ferrari? I mean, they could have gone. You know how you had drifts vehicle that could have been Mirage. Too. Sure, yeah. Oh yeah, watch the subsequent singles. Blue, red, white. It wouldn't be hard. It would not have been hard. Which is why mm. we just call him Dino and not Mirage. Mm. We don't want to know. We don't want this guy associated with. I was just super character. annoyed that they wouldn't do a figure because Ferrari's like, oh no, you can't, you can't do that. We don't like. Yeah, so it's like, why would you vehicle? sign up with it? It's like, oh well, investors, you know, you got they pay a lot of money to have these. It used to be the other way around. Like I'm sure, like in the beginning, they had to pay a lot to get the cars in the movie. Now it was the cars wanted to pay a lot to get in the movie. But I think they did have to battle over for, for Ferrari because Michael Bay, you know, he loves his, he loves his cars mm. more than story. And character yeah, and progression. More, no, but not more than explosions. Listen, right, Michael Bay, 
give your honest thoughts on Michael Bay. What do you think about him? Pros first. Uh, he does do very good action sequences. Okay, what's the negative? Uh, he doesn't work too much on the explosion side. We're just going to do like a full list paragraph. <laughs> uh, well, start off with uh, uh, uh. yeah, like I said, I, I like I, I showed you that video when how we would like to meet Michael Bay. If you had to say one thing to him, what would it be? Why did you fuck with Transformers? I think I'd say, why did you kill Iron Eyes? <laughs> yeah, it would be that too. Why did you kill Ratchet? Why did you kill Iron Eyes? Why did you kill Dial uh, Jazz? Yeah, did I not mention this? Uh, the guy I was talking to in the pub, a 26 year old, who was talking about how the first three Transformers movies were amazing to him. He was saying to me, why did they kill Iron Eyes? <laughs> he said that to me. He said, why? He actually said that. Yeah, he said, he said, why did they kill Iron Eyes? And I go, I honestly, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I get it from the movie standpoint because Sentinel Serum is a threat, but it's just like, why? I have to to explain my twenty six year old. Like I knew him when I was very little. Like uh, he was like a he was like a. I looked to him as like a brother, and to describe the kind of guy he is, he's a he's a professional boxer, and he's one of those kind of like sort of outgoing lads, you know. Uh, Clearly attractive, gets you know a lot of looks, women, stuff like that. And uh, to, to, for, from a perspective like me, to hear him say, "Why did we kill Ironhide?" I'm like, "Dude, you've learned so much." <laughs> More than what women, boxing, all this stuff. It's great, great career, but you know Ironhide. <laughs> you remember he died. Congratulations, buddy. I mean, boxing's a really serious thing. He was teaching me a few things. I gave me in a proper stance and poses and that. And I'm I there, mean, like, my dad used to do boxing. That's what he taught me when I was young. And I was like, I'm a bloody kid, I shouldn't know this. He had me... Um... Oh, I will tell you this story. He was having me Shit. like doing uppercuts and dodging and stuff. And it was really cool, like, learning all this kind of... I thought that was just blind for a moment. Like, oh, where did it go? <laughs> but, like, um, he was teaching me, like, all right, how to get into a stance. How to not. Oh, and this he... is going to kill me. <laughs> he deliberately, like, had me punch him right. in the face. Like, he had me, like, dodge and then pull him up in the chin mm. punch him. And one point where, because he was like saying to me, he was like saying stuff to me, um, that to be really s smart where you're going to hit, like he'd have his hand up in the air and he'd say stuff that if I got really mad, I would miss. But if I stopped and yeah. focused, I'd hit it. And there was one thing where he like had me literally punch him in the face because he wanted to, you know, put all my strength in him. And I did punch him and he did fall on the floor and it did spill all the beer on the table. Now, to his credit, he probably did that on purpose, but he generally acted like, you know, I fucking hurt him in the face. But there was one point where we were doing it again, and he was like saying, cover yourself, cover yourself. So get your fist, pull him up in front of your face, get it tight, not like out space. Anyway, there was one moment where uh, I was having dodge, and he and he punched me like on the side of my uh, ribs. And I was like, you fucking bastard. Because <laughs> I know he was showing me, but I was like, <laughs> it's like his fucking ass, and I, had to, I couldn't breathe. <laughs> like I had to hold it in for a good five minutes, five seconds, and I was like, "That's great, yeah, good one, dude. Yeah, you've taught me a lot." <laughs> I about dying, um, and he didn't know. I managed to cover it very well. <laughs> yeah, no, no I bet because you were like drunk, you were like, "Oh yeah, I nailed that. I, yeah, I, I was covered like, that up really well." I was like, "I know what you mean, now, buddy. I've got it." But really, he saw this. Oh my god, I'm covering this really well. When I went into bed, I still felt it. I was like, fuck it up. Mm. And then Dave came in and, oh, he was doing the same thing with Dave, teaching Dave a few things. I said, oh gosh. No. Seeing Dave, like, punch Carl on the floor again, like, just punch him, like, on the floor, because he, like, had him do the same thing. I was just like, yeah, yeah, definitely, he definitely staged it with Dave. It's probably, it's probably, like, a confidence booster thing to like make them think he, uh, they actually got him over I'm not saying this to boost my own thing like I know how no I'm saying like if he fell over he might have done it deliberately oh, he did. to feel like um, to I mean you gotta you gotta boost. think about it at this point he did have five pies and the way you know how you look at someone like when I when I get when I have a lot of drinks ironically I do remember a lot like I do remember the next day which is a sad fact because I like to drink to forget forget me now uh, <laughs> you know but sadly that's how my brain works. But, yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, is this. You die again. God, mm, Lewis, you're no, not stealthy enough. It's because I can't remember how you meant to take this mission. Oh, oh yeah, here it is. Look, that looks like an Autobot logo. Yeah. Like, it is supposed to be. Mm. 
this. This doesn't seem like the walls are covered with ancient Decepticon hieroglyphs. I like his voice. It's not bad. It's sad that his real voice actor died. Mm. I always get those comments a lot on uh, all deaths video I did on the characters. And then people always say, oh yeah, Dino's voice actor died. Before the film came out as well. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Dino didn't have much of an acting part, but the bits he was in were really fun to watch. Yeah, just a cool voice. Very cool. What, what, what are a few things he said in the film? Um... I don't know. I <laughs> you say a it. lot. He really didn't. Really. It isn't really. Yeah, I mean, Dark in the Moon. Dark in the Moon. Uh, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> he had a few side. Oh, no, wait. It's like, he's not having any of it today. Oh, they've got you. Shit. God's sake, I must messed it up. Need to get to the bloody weapon. Oh, God, he's still behind you. He's coming for that ass. Oh, shit. Are you just skipping the entire? <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking moving. This is what you're meant to you do. Can't anyway. sprint. You can't, can't you sprint. You can't shoot or anything. because it's just how the game is, isn't it? That's how it is with the uh, WSC. You can't even sprint. Fucking decloaked me again. Hatchet, get out of the way. Is that actually Hatchet or? Uh, I think. Or just a clone? I think that one's Hatchet. Well, the Hatchet design, anyway. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> I just de- I just fucking cloaked again. You got your art, Mick. I mean, you got Crowbar and, uh, what was the other one? Crowbar, Rampage. Crankcase. Crankcase. Rampage? <laughs> no, Rampage. No, that's, uh, the red bar. In two. I'll suck your brains, Slack. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it, like, he had no character personality. He said one line. Who? A berserker. Uh, yeah, people doctors. treat him like he's an actual character. Like, okay, so this. Oh, is... it's because they speak subterranean as well when they were on the standoff bit. No, I mean, like, he literally has no personality at all, and people like say he's a great character. It's like. I mean, he, he said he one potential. line. I kind of think he was decent. How can he have potential if he only had one line? And he was a remodel of. You know, was it Crankcase or Crowbar? No, not Crowbar. Uh, no, it, it was like a repurposed design. It was Crankcase. It, wasn't... it was Crankcase because he had the dreads. What's the matter? Yeah, yeah, one no, of them had the dreads, one of them didn't. I was watching a, a video and analysis on Dark of the Moon, on uh, the last night, and I was like, oh god, I forgot about this film. Like, a lot of stuff about it. Mm. Did the narration of... Oh, there he is, acting cool in Moonlight. Mm. You want to you wanna be in that pose. Yeah. You desperately want to have that pose. You can't make your mind up. You're like, I want to be Mirage. Now I want to be Jazz. Now I want to be Optimus Prime. Now I want to be Ironhide. There's a lot of characters. you got multiple personalities. you got a disorder. Mm. You start... I mean, my, apparently due to me, like, as a person. <laughs> due to and myself. My star sign. I'm meant to be super indecisive, which I technically am. Yeah, no, yeah. Like, I have no idea what I really want to do for a career. Well, you wanted uh, to be a Let's Player. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to be a Let's Player. I wanted to be a game designer, voice actor, fucking movie star or something like that. Were you... Movie director, TV series director, you are fulfilling... police officer. You are fulfilling one of those dreams. You are a Let's Player. Mm, sort of. You are a Let's Player, Lewis. <laughs> People enjoy your commentary. Mm. Well, I assume you are. I mean, to be honest, you are actually doing a very good job. So it's dying a lot as an iron mind. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, the electric. <laughs> Do you want me to play for a bit? Yeah, go for it. The electric. I didn't realise it attacked you. <laughs> I realised I've you played a majority of this game so far. Yeah. It's because you're an expert. You're better at it than me. I'm just better at games. <laughs> Fuck off. Right, I gave you a compliment. I mean, you just decided to, like... <laughs> Alright, I'm going to change well, it. I'm, like, super brutal, dude. I'm super brutal, dude. I told a girl that she's not fucking attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Go home, gun nerd. <laughs> go home, gamer girl. <laughs> Can't believe that act out. Oh, wait, that, that could go very well with the girl who's gaming with me. Yeah, yeah. Like, go home, gamer girl. If you want to offend her, just say that. Huh? Go home, <laughs> shit girl. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not missing much. No when we were playing halfway through Transformers the game, Daniel just took his knee phone out. <laughs> What's your favourite moment in Dark of the Moon? <laughs> You don't have to put it out. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think it's probably when Prime just went 
all out. <laughs> you know when he had his jetpack and he killed Shockwave's driller pet thing? Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. He came in and killed off like 13 Decepticons and then attacked Shockwave. And then also the bit when Prime goes. You know, yeah. let's find out. You know when um, all this stuff fell out of that building and it like does that slow motion on Shockwave's eye? Mm -hmm. I didn't realize he said, Trinobot is thirsty. But the thing is, they made his voice so muffled. Oh, I thought most of the time he was just speaking subterranean. I know. Um, I know that um, when Optimus carries, he goes, Optimus! That, that bit like the And Optimus goes, Optimus! <laughs> 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 Yee!